I have a special guest host with me today, Rena Santora. Thank you, Larry. Glad to be here. Rena's my wife, and she's also a nurse practicing in Orange County for almost 30 years. And we're going to discuss non-dairy coffee creamers today. So let's get right to the question. Larry, there's so many different kinds of coffee creamers out there. There's different flavors, dairy, non-dairy. So just how healthy are these coffee creamers? Well, the most popular type, and for good reason, are the non-dairy coffee creamers because they, they're tolerant and people can't tolerate dairy products. They come in a convenient powder form. They last forever on the shelf. You can put them in little packets. And when you use them in a certain quantity, it tastes pretty good. So at home, just how much do we do? use? At home we use way, way too much. It, the recommendation is one teaspoon and remember this is a household teaspoon and that's much more than a teaspoon. So we use maybe six or nine teaspoons and I would bet that most people in the country do more than uh, one teaspoon. If you read the product label it's all bad fats. The thing that gives us a good taste and a good uh, creamy quality are the trans fats and the polyunsaturated fats. If you use one teaspoon, you're probably doing okay, but like most of us, we do way too much. So you may be taking in five grams of unhealthy fat, 80, 90 calories per cup of coffee. Our cups are no longer five ounces. We use eight, usually 12 ounces of coffee is standard and often more. And you, some people do two or three of those per day. So you're taking a significant amount of unhealthy fats and we take in way too much at home. So what are our alternatives? Well, you can drink black coffee, but that's not a, a, a good uh, alternative for somebody who likes this creamy type of flavor. So you can get these, these kind of coffee made type or uh, products in a, non, uh, a low fat form or a fat free form. Honestly, they don't taste as good. They don't have the creamy texture. Or a better choice would be soy based products like silk. Uh, Soy-based milk products, they're not actually dairy products, they're based from the soybean and they, they're very healthy for you and they have a creamy taste to them. Or you can get uh, non-fat uh, half and half products. So what you're saying is a little is okay, but a lot is not. And like most things in life, a little is okay, but a lot is not. 